from a lot of sign people this is a love reading for the pisces cancer and scorpion i want to say thank you for being here thank you for returning please remember to like and share these videos for the extended of this video you have to use the medium extended in order to join my channel and receive uh, the medium extended um and there you can pick up all the extended readings thank you for returning so we see the heart chakra so you water people are going to be working on the heart chakra whatever the issue the situation is water people are going to be working on the heart chakras i see some of you water people are refusing to see the truth about a situation what has happened and transpire you need to open up your eyes and see the truth about the deceptiveness that was at play i see um the energy of uh, um the seven of cups a lot of uh, opportunities is there and some of you water sign are not hoping for love and see that there is a lot of opportunities that is there so it's about healing the heart chakra in uh, this month for you guys and refusing to see the truth what it is that you're refusing to see the truth about um um what is is sorry that you're refusing to see the truth about so you have someone in your life that you're not seeing the goodness of this person and you're not realizing so you could be married to this person or you this person has crossed your part and you're not realizing that this person was meant to be in your life so i see new love is coming in because i see some of you are going to be healing your heart chakra and new love is going to be coming in so this new love that is coming in i see um, some of you are going to release yourself from whatever controlling relationships or marriage that you're in so that is good and uh, that is about seeing the truth true love is coming in wow what a signs this is good so you have true gem true gem is someone who is in your world and you're refusing to see that this person was placed in your world for the right reasons I see short-term relationship is coming up with a true love that is coming in for you guys so be aware of it and what is transpiring then I see a whole lot of short-term passion is coming up for your water sign your water sign or getting involved in short-term relationship I see a relationship is going to be a um, spiritually growing so a lot of you who are in passionate relationship your relationship is going to be spiritually growing i see a lot of you water sign or in love triangles whatever the situation is a lot of water sign or in love triangles i see a lot of you are texting some of you um i've met someone and this was for a short term but i see communication you're texting this person whatever is transpiring water sign there's a lot of gossip around you so you have to be aware of what is coming up and what is transpiring because there is a lot of gossip that is going on i see a lot of you water side are daydreaming a lot of you water sign or in a love triangle and is daydreaming so what we're seeing is that new love is going to be coming in this love was meant to be in your life but you're in a love triangle so be aware about what is transpiring because you're in, right now you're in a love triangle truths um seeing the truth of that you're in a relationship with someone who was meant to be in your life but yet still you're having a lot of outside relationships so then we are seeing new love is coming in a lot of communication but whoever this new love is that is coming in there is a lot of love triangles so this person is seeing someone else i see a lot of you are going to be ending controlling relationship and controlling marriages some of you are going to be um meeting a true love but it is like for short term the passion is hot the passion is really really hot i see a lot of you met someone it was a short-term passion but it was someone you should spiritually connected with so it's as if you met this person you feel as if this person um is your opposite polaria but it was short term and now you're realizing and uh, the truth about this person why you have met this person so i see this could be the one and you're not seeing the truth so some of you water sign people could be in a relationship and you're not seeing that this person could be the one i see you need to heal your heart chakras before you can realize what is happening some of you want a sign need to express and let someone know that they, you're they're being very controlling some of you are dealing with some controlling issues that is coming from another person you need to let the person know this codependency is coming up and i see 
controlling and codependency in your relationship so be aware of that a whole lot of passion is here what a sign a whole lot of passion you're meeting people short term and a whole lot of passion between you and these people a whole lot of um you are attracted to new people that is coming in and um the passion is also off the chart i see you constantly texting and communicating with this person chemistry is here for you guys so this is wonderful it's a powerful month june is always a powerful month whenever it comes up with love a whole lot of you are in love triangles and a whole lot of chemistry between you and this person unrequired love is here because some of you are seeing a lot of people and it doesn't make any sense these are people who are unrequired love there's no passion it's just love triangle let your friends help you to get out of the situation and your friends help you to show you that there is more fishes in the sea some of you um are not seeing the truth of a relationship and some of you your friends need to show you that there is more fishes in the sea i see you're going to be reaching out to someone i want to reconnect reconnect with someone whoever this person is you finally saw that this person was the love of your life this person came in your life for a reason and now you are seeing this but and you both were in love triangles and that's why you weren't seeing this some of you are in love triangles that doesn't make any sense and you deserve to have um a love so some of you um are going to be finding out that uh, the someone you're in a relationship in is already in relationship with other people and i see that some of you are finally going to be realizing that um someone you have met and it was for a short term and you have a lot of passion and you are very attracted to this person they were the one for you a mirrored sense where you're going to be finding out an eel in the art chakra because you're realizing that someone you have met in the past is the one for you so um it could be a twin flame or a soulmate but you have met this person this person has crossed your part and you weren't aware that this was meant for you addiction some of you are addicted to just meeting new people meeting new people but the relationship never lasts and you're going to be finding out that you're addicted to just being in love it is a situation where water sign people are addicted to just always falling in love um and that sort of a thing so i see codependent with a twin flame relationship um there's a lot of codependency but this person is really your twin flame um, I see our relationship is ended the passion that was there is no longer there and this relationship has ended okay I see a snake gate and this is some deceptiveness some of you are seeing someone there is a lot of attractiveness between you and this person but it's snake gate this person is not real this person is very deceptive I see some of you your um, um, your your either being recorded okay so um you could be um going out and meeting people in hotels and that sort of a thing you're being recorded okay a lot of love is coming in the universe is going to send some of you unexpected love your way unexpectedly you are going to be meeting someone and feeling this unconditional love for this person the chemistry is on um, off the chart and you're going to be realizing this person was meant to be um, you need to be light-hearted and release yourself from um, a third-party relationship a lot of you are in third-party relationship it is not healthy um, this is not what your spirit guides want and they're going to be ending this abundance is coming up for the singles whoever is looking for to mingle a lot of people is going to be coming in I see a lot of connection is going to be coming in I see whoever was manifesting a relationship it is going to be happening for you I see keep a positive mindset I see some of you your friends are going to be helping you to meet someone so whatever is happening and transpiring your friends is definitely going to be helping you I see some of you as sabotage a relationship Um, some of you have met someone before but you were in um, um, you you have met someone before but you were in a deceptive you were in a third-party relationship so you could be married you have met someone someone has crossed your part 
and you weren't aware that this person was meant to be in your life it's as if the universe sent this person but because you were all over the place in other relationship dabbling in other situation that was not healthy and was unrequired love you did not really realize that this person was meant for you and what the universe is saying is that we notice that you deserve love and this is the reason why this person was meant for you and was placed in your life so there is a lot of you that is um, having these short term relationship and it's because you're looking for love some of you just want to be in love all the time and this is why you're going through a period of a short term relationship so mirroring some of you have met an Aquarian or um, some of you cancer or mirroring yourself in a relationship with an Aquarian you need to heal your heart chakra from this person and this relationship it's a mirrored but you were not meant to be okay so whoever this Aquarian or this water sign person Aquarian or Gemini or Libran is that you mirrored yourself in this relationship but it was not something that was meant to be some of you are going to be finding out you scorpions and you cancers is going to be finding out that someone that enter your life this new love that enter your life as an addiction whether it is um, whatever the addiction is this person have an addiction it could be an addiction to you and they are expressing that or you have found out that this person has an addiction twin flames are coming up so um, I see a whole lot of you are going to be twin flaming up scorpions um, Tauruses and Sagittarius scorpion Tauruses and Sagittarius that's where the flame the twin flame is coming in for you guys and Sagittarians um, comes up with a um, Capricorn Sagittarian cup that's where the twin flame is coming in so if you're looking for a twin flame and you're in a relationship with a scorpion or a Taurus or a Sagittarian that is your twin flame then we see the energy of passion um, if you're in a relationship with a Gemini or a um, Sagittarian the passion is over this relationship is over it was just for a short period of time attractiveness you're going to be um, really attractive to the Capricorn and some of you to the Aries the Aries is a snake gate do not get involved even though you feel attractive to this Aries do not get involved it's better you use you take the Capricorn some of you scorpions and cancer your relationship is being um, um, recorded so it could be on your telephone um, that your partner is um, have an app for your telephone so if you're a scorpion or a cancer your partner is listening to your conversation and is recording your conversation or intimate time with someone else okay so be aware of that so if you're seeing someone it is better to turn off your telephone when you are with the person because that telephone is recording your information and your partner is listening to it so I'm advising scorpions and cancer whoever is seeing someone else out of your marriage or your relationship whenever you're meeting the third party the third person turn off your telephone because you're being recorded and your partner is collecting information over you there is a lot of chemistry that is coming in some of you unexpectedly um, Pisces and cancer you're going to be meeting a new love okay and um, this new love this unconditional new love you're going to be feeling the chemistry between you and this person the universe had sent this person to you so whoever you are um, Pisces and uh, cancer um, could be coming in for you okay or you could be the one for them unrequired love is with an Aquarius a Taurus and a scorpion so some of you scorpion could be having unrequired love in a relationship with a Taurus or a um, Aquarian whatever is transpiring um, the energy of the dragon you're going to be finding out that if you're in a relationship with a, an Aquarius or a Taurus or a scorpion they're in a third party relationship there is other people in their lives abundancy um, some of you let your friends help you there's multiple people out there that wants to connect um, some of you I see an Aries and a Taurus that wants to connect with you it's not a good move don't do it do not do it there's more people you gotta understand um, what assigned people the people you should connect with is the hurt people or your own water sign people 
I see um, Pisces is going to be um, 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 for you um, what is going to be transpiring is that there is a reconciliation um, where a Pisces a Taurus and a, um, a Virgo is a, a Gemini a Gemini is going to be returning in your life so I see that some of you are um, reconnecting with a um, if you are a Pisces you're reconnecting with a Taurus or a Virgo for them to return in your life so I see that you want this these people to return in your life and this is going to be good so what a sign people it is and um, it is a month um, there is no question about it it is a month I see um, Pisces and Virgos I see a lot of gossip between the Pisces and the Virgo there is so much gossip between Pisces and Virgo so be aware um, whatever is transpiring singles stay away from the fire sign people because they are not they are just going to be connecting with you for money okay so whoever and whatever is transpiring if a fire sign person comes in your life and um, you're looking for someone a fire sign person comes in your life stay away from them because they're only here for money and not for love okay so if, if you meet a Taurus this Taurus person is going to be helping you out and bring back financial stability in your world so um, multiple opportunities where a true love is going to be coming in as a Taurus for some of you so whether or not you're a Taurus another Taurus could be coming in they're going to be helping you to bring financial stability and abundancy then we are looking at love triangles and the love triangles are affecting people that is in relationship with Aquarian Tauruses and the Scorpions you guys are going to be finding yourself that you're in some unrequired love you deserve a better love so get out of this love triangle because it's not very healthy for you guys chemistry is coming in and it's a lot of chemistry some of you are going to be meeting someone who are spiritually connected with you and this is unconditional love you can feel this unconditional love and um, um, Pisces and cancer is going to be meeting someone new and this person was sent to you from your spirit guides it's as if your spirit guide realized it is time to bring in this person there's going to be a lot of chemistry but there's also going to be a lot of passion between you and them we're seeing a situation here some of you are seeing someone else out of your marriage or your relationship whoever this your partner is is recording as something on your phone that is recording your information so I want you to turn off your phone so whoever have the side piece chick and the side piece person man or woman whenever you're seeing this person turn off your phone because your partner is recording all of your conversation you scorpion and cancers be aware of that your partner is recording all of these conversation then we see um short-term relationship is coming in some of you are attracted to a, a capricorn um and some of you are attracted to an um an aries you got to be aware of what is happening and transpire because i see that this is going to be ending it was only for short term short term relationship with passion is coming up with a sagittarian and the gemini's so whatever is happening with the sagittarian and gemini's i see whatever that you you know you were having a fling or you are having an affair with um, a, a Sagittarian or a Gemini this is over as we look at true love it, um, I see codependency um, but whoever this person is is your twin flame so scorpions you could be in a twin flame relationship with um, with a Taurus or with a Sagittarian this person is kind of codependent but it is your twin flame then we see um, um, control issues an addiction some of you are dealing um, with um, someone who you really care about you scorpions and cancers or finding out that your partner is really controlling and um, some addiction and very controlling always want to communicate always want to know what you're doing and you feel that very annoying so you're going to be finding a way to get yourself out of this so um, yeah ladies and gentlemen it is really what and whatever is transpiring some of you your ex who uh, you you Pisces are going to be reconnecting with an ex that is a Taurus or either a Gemini I don't know what is happening with you um people it was reconnecting like the exes are coming back in your world 
so i see a whole lot of situation that the exes are definitely coming back in your world and i see that this is uh, going to be resolved however it is happening and transpiring it's going to be a good month for you guys i love you guys please like and share these videos whatever is happening and transpiring use the link if you are connecting to my website to see the extended of your individual um love reading use the medium um to get to my website in order to receive this message namaste until next time